Hello again. It's Mama G Gear here and Dr. Rusty Blades. And today I have, no, again, no idea what we're doing. I like to do this. It's a fun game. Yes. Um, is a cat a liquid or a solid? Is a cat a liquid or a solid? The internet has been asked and the internet delivered. Oh, that's a thing? I read a little bit into it. Okay. So it's a funny concept. So liquid is traditionally defined as being able to fit into a container or oh, fill right. it like the liquid that filled it, it, it said fills container. Fills the, okay. So is, solidi is solidify a word? No. No, I mean, it, it is a word. So it is a word, but not what. what so not the concept word. of came, Never mind. It became almost like a paradoxical observation in the sense of a paradox being like a statement that, or a proposal that. Yeah seems so like self-contradictory in a sense but also has a possib like, possibility of being both of truth. Uh, yeah part of the, i don't know and when you talk about liquid being something that can fill a container <laughs> cats can do it oh that, my god that container's looking pretty full to me yeah i've got a few of them oh look at the baby in the bottle yeah, that's definitely filling that so, container. So, yeah, if you're a cat, I mean, if you're saying just fill so, a container is... So, basically, that's... that's No, obviously, this is not, like, deep science. We're talking... No. These are fun cat facts. Speaking. That's a cute one. Aww. Uh, a little putty paws. The pink nose. <gasps> that one's pretty. This looks like the same cat, but just a fancier focus. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and then you got so not filling it different even in the square. <laughs> See, it's been a, it's a funny like. There's, oh, they're so cute. There's some I can't remember his name. Some guy did an actual like more scientific based study on it and got into the concept of well, well now you have if this was big enough, a cat can fit in this. Yeah, the new cat probably could. She's now, tiny. this a cat's not going to fit in for a it, while. The, this would have to get so big that this top hole was big enough for the cat to get in, and then it would just be able to walk around in the bottom. So it wouldn't be able to like fill this container. Oh, but it could play in there if it was big enough. Well, yes, it could be a genie cat in a genie, genie cat. bottle. But yeah, so it was just like a funny concept. Of that like, is cute. But now what's the, what's the answer? The, I mean, the answer, uh, actually, what they broke it down to after all of the research is that a cat is both a solid and a liquid. So cats are both solid and liquid, and you thought you and were going to has a cat. Yeah, we know. You know. they yeah, they and they they love to sit on or a basset round or square too. things too. If you t there's a study that they did where if you, on a round thing she's on a round thing all day the whole day. But if you, you take a rope or yarn, all you yarny people take a piece of yarn and just make a circle out of the yarn and leave it on the floor and wait a little bit, and your cat will probably go in it. It's also true of boxes, and they tested and they that at the boxes. zoo a while back. Like, this is going way back, but there was, like, pictures of cats in boxes. Yeah. That was, like, you know, the internet. Tiger? Yeah, the zoo put it out for tigers and whatnot. And the and tiger jumped in the box. Tigers and lions jumped right in them. Yeah, so they, they yeah. feel comfortable in that stuff. Well, also, I got a picture. I did a, a little short of the Addy machine, which is round. And I was in the living room, and I was cranking the Addy and making a hat. And the new little kitten that she just found. Was Freya. Freya went jumped right in and i had to stop what i was doing because she says okay nap time in the addy oh, yeah. but there's a little uh short video of that clip or i think i did yeah i, did a I got video. something for freya i'm gonna try it with polly she's gonna hate it oh no cat backpack a cat backpack a cat backpack to care yes because it's she... like a backpack with like a clear piece i mean i'd probably oh, wear it in front yeah yeah or like have a leash so but I feel like Freya would. Be I think Freya would be right now. Yeah, Freya. If you haven't, if you don't know, Freya is the kitten that she rescued from out in the cold. Somebody dropped it. Sucky people. Apparently, Freya was. Um, she was behaving as though she was going through heat. Yeah. And it was the night before Thanksgiving that Rusty found the cat screaming. Yeah, outside. I came home and just heard a screaming cat. It's dark because, you know, daylight savings and all. Yeah. And I just ran in, opened the door and yelled to Greg, I hear a screaming cat. And I like, oh. grabbed his headlamp because that's the closest one to the door. And by the time I got outside, this cat was right behind my vehicle. So it clearly 
was it? saw a vehicle and was screaming coming down the yeah. road, followed it, and then Poor followed it. So it, it got dumped by a vehicle. That's why it was coming to the vehicle. Yeah. And it was a friendly cat, so it wasn't a stray, because most oh, strays yeah, came it wasn't me. feral. Feral cats, you will run. They're afraid of humans. They have not had human intercon, whatever the word is. Um, and a stray is usually like this, where someone drops it off, and it starts to survive out into the wild. Um, but this cat was clearly... It was recent, a recent dog. Yeah, the cat was a healthy shape. She's tiny, little tiny feet and um, whatnot, but immediately love bug Amundo. So, and anyway, she's beautiful coloring. There's some videos of her. Yeah, check out some of the shorts um, yeah. with her walking through the yard. Like, yeah. you see the side of her coloring, all these, like, oh, spots. It's, like, beautiful striped coloring. calico spot. Yeah, design like an art piece. Yes. But, uh, yeah, she's very happy now. Whoever dumped her, I would like to stick a finger up. But, but if um, you hold her, she's like liquid. She is. She is. She just droops. Almost like ragdolls are like that. That yeah. that, that, that uh, breed of cat. They just, whatever you do to them. That's what we should do. Is get if you ever breed dolls. cats, yeah. I yeah, if we ever breed, breed cats, we'll breed uh, ragdolls. And if any of you people if have ragdolls. Yeah, if any of you have ragdolls and, and you want to give them one a good home. Because we have lots of cats. We rescue cats. We rescue dogs. We rescue people. We rescue rangers. We rescue rangers. <laughs> We're getting just silly. Hey, love you guys.